when I was young, I was always kind of throwing things around all over the place, doing all events that I could do. So decathlon was just a natural event to end up at. Thomas van der Plaatsen burst onto the scene in 2011, winning the under-23 European Championship. Coached by his brother and managed by his sister, he looks set to be decathlon's next superstar. Getting a cancer diagnosis as a young person is quite a shocking thing, especially as an athlete when, you know, your body is literally your job. That was quite a shock. In September 2014, Thomas failed a doping control test. As shocking as that news was for Thomas and his family, they were soon to learn that his heightened HCG levels were not due to a banned substance, rather the result of previously undiagnosed testicular cancer. It was a very overwhelming period for us. It also came all of a sudden, like we were not prepared for such a diagnosis. So within a couple of days, our lives completely changed. Obviously, getting news like that and then going through the treatment and all those things, it, it, it's the normal kind of grieving process, I guess. First you're shocked and then comes kind of a defiant phase where you don't really want to accept and then there's acceptance and then there's working through it and then, you know, so you go through the this sort of stages of, of grief, I guess. I think I was lucky that it got caught quite early and so I still had a chance to, to come back from it and still continue my career as an athlete. I was like at the peak of my career, so there was never really a question of whether I would at least try to come back. For me personally, it was really important to not really look at him like an athlete, but more like my brother. And the, the number one goal of me, but of the whole team, was to get him back healthy and happy. And so we didn't really think about those results very much in the beginning. We had them in the back of our minds, but it was really step-by-step -step progress. Thomas's determination to resume his career was fierce, and he quickly got to work on rebuilding his strength and physical fitness. In 2016, less than two years after the initial diagnosis, Thomas was crowned European champion, and he's since competed at two Olympic Games. Winning the European Championships was a really big victory, and it sort of kind of capped that, that whole period of getting sick and working through it and trying to make a comeback. It was a very big confidence booster for me because it kind of showed, okay, whatever happens on your road, more than likely you can deal with it. Going through that whole period, you know, you ask yourself those questions like, you know, what if I die? Or, you know, what, what was my life worth? Or what, what did I do with my life? Or what are the sort of things that I would have liked to still do with my life? And, you know, those questions kind of give you a, a map for, you know, what is really important in your life. After going through the whole cancer diagnosis and treatment, I, I found it back on track. So together with the hospital I was treated at, I decided to start a foundation and we focused on, not really on the treatment, but on the period afterwards, kind of giving people the sensation that they can get back on track after a serious disease. We challenged people to reach a big goal at the end of the year. For running, that was 10 kilometers. So most people, you know, going through a cancer diagnosis, they, they couldn't run 400 meters after they got through. And so we challenged them to try and go for a 10-kilometer run at the end of the year. We just give them the opportunity to show to themselves that they, that they can really get their lives back on track. I'm uh, very proud of Thomas, especially because throughout his whole journey, Thomas really embodies that athlete that doesn't give up and that, that goes and looks for solutions and, and that gives it 100%. People were looking at me as sort of an example to people that you can come back after a big disease or after a big injury. You realize that, you know, my, my efforts in this moment might not just impact me, but might impact other people as well, which gives not even just a silver lining, a golden lining to your own struggle.